Hey there, everybody. Now we're going to start talking about the Puzzle Cube project. So the first thing we want to do is hit Create and Folder and title this Puzzle Cube. So we are going to open that folder, hit Create, and hit Document. Um, let's call this Parts. No, no, no. I don't like that. Sorry. Call this. Um, Three cubes. So, first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to turn off the top, and I'm going to turn off the right, and I'm going to be left with the front view. And I'm going to hit sketch, and I'm going to click on the front view, and I'm going to flip it to the right, and I'm going to go to center point rectangle. And I'm going to draw a square that is 0.75 inches by 0.75 inches. I'm going to hit, instead of typing 0.75, which you can do that, I'm just going to grab the equals constraint. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on that, and it snaps it to 3 quarters of an inch or 0.75. The way I can double check that is grab my dimension tool, click over there, and it says it's 0.75. Green checkbox, hit, hit the diagonal, and then I'm going to go back over here to extrude. And I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to type in 0.75. All right, so everybody, this is, you're going to get 27 of these cubes. And we're going to brainstorm as many different parts as we can with one cube parts. So we're done. This is as many one cube parts as we can have. But in actual, actuality, we can't use one cube parts because of the constraints that we're, we're being told. So now let's talk about a two cube part. So that's when we take two of these blocks and we stack them on top of each other. So you can do that one of two ways. You can say, hey, I'm going to click here and add a cube up there, or I'm just going to click here and I'm going to say, all right, what's 0.75 times 2? There we go. So now you can see that I have a two cube part. And no matter how I rotate it, how I spin it around, I have the same part. All right. So now let's make a three cubed part. Well, I can do that by double clicking here and changing this to 0.75 times three. I have a three cube part. So that is three cubes stacked on top of each other. All right. Or, or, I can change this to 0.75 times 2, and I can add a cube to the top of this. So I'm going to hit sketch, I'm going to hit top on here, and I'm going to grab a rectangle. This time I'm going to go corner rectangle. So I can go right on that corner, and let's see if I hover down. You'll notice it kind of snapped to that part right there. Just in case, I want to make sure that this is 0.75, which it is. And also, that is 0.75, which it is. And I'm going to extrude this top part and make this, everything is multiples of 0.75. So this is another part. So we've done our one cube parts, we've done our two cube parts, and now we've done our three cube parts. Make sure that you have these either done on on shape or drawn isometrically, or another really good tool is Minecraft for this activity. So I'm gonna call a timeout right now. I'm gonna have you take screen grabs of this. If you don't know how to take a screen grab and you're using your Chromebook, 
Screen grab with Chromebook is Control Shift and that button right above your six key. You can take a screen grab by taking a picture of that and adding it to your slide deck. All right. See you soon for four cube parts, five cube parts, and six cube parts.